threw a five from the field, but obviously you had a much bigger impact on the game than that. Do uh, you have any idea you were getting up there huh? career high in rebounds? Uh, I didn't know I had as many as I did at the end of the night, but I knew I had a lot. I was just chasing every rebound I could. What was so effective for you? Was it just desire or doing it? Yeah, <laughs> anything yeah. different? or Just desire and the uh, <clears throat> good days are adding up and just getting better and better every day. Why do you think those good days are adding up? It's just uh, good, great workouts, uh, skill development workouts, good practices, and my teammates are encouraging me, and good coaches, they're encouraging me too. That would seem like for a little while there you were kind of carrying the team offensively. Um, did you feel like you had to be that aggressive to, uh, to stay ahead of them? Uh, I just felt like I needed to make plays, whether that's scoring, passing, rebounding. Just being a great leader out there, just wanted to dive into my teammates. You guys come out of the second half, and I think you missed your first eight shots. What kind of went wrong in that little stretch, and then what was the difference as you finished the game? Uh, you know, I mean, you miss shots. Uh, you just got to battle through it. Uh, just keep playing and let the defense turn into the offense instead of we worried about offense. We was back on our heels. We, we got we got better defensively. We picked it up, and that led to easy baskets in the offense. The I guess Joel eight for nine from the free throw line is that um, something that you've been working on uh, recently? Yeah, I've been working on it. Just uh, in the previous games, I've been struggling, just going up and down. I have a couple games I shoot good, and then the next game I'll shoot bad. So just trying to keep it consistent. When you guys, uh, you know, I heard Coach Ray on the pregame on the radio say that, you know, Montana a lot of times if they get, they're able to get eight three pointers, they win the game tonight. They they shoot fifty percent. But what do you think was the difference in uh, you guys being able to pull out the win with them shooting so well from the three point range? I think uh, we did give up a lot of threes, but I just think we stayed together really well and just kept battling. Did you feel like there's, I mean, a little extra intensity? You know, you know their record isn't as good as they've been in the past, but there was still a battle tonight. I mean, uh, there's no secret that, you know, us in Montana is a rival. So uh, it, it's, it's going to be a battle no matter what the record is, no matter what our record is, no matter what their record is. Uh, you got to get up and play this game. And obviously they're they're a different team than they have been the last couple of years because they lost some guys. But uh, did you see any difference in, in how they were playing at all, or was it similar to past years? And similar. Uh, you know, <clears throat> they played Montana basketball. Uh, Tinko coaches them well. Uh, they got a great staff, great team, and they did a great job tonight. Any questions from you guys back there? <laughs> Good job, guys. Thank you.